Sweet life, sweet life, sweet life. Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be making these cute little breakable pots of gold. We're going to be using almond bark. We're going to be using a bowl. We're going to be using some Lucky Charm cereal and some gold sprinkles. So first I'm going to get my um, chocolate almond bark into my bowl and it's going to go directly into the microwave and as you guys know i like to melt it on 15 to 20 second increments and i stop it in between and i stir it and i did that for about three rounds and then it came out perfectly like this now i'm going to add some black color mill color to it because we want our pot of gold to actually be black i've actually seen people do them brown as well so you can leave it brown and i'm using color mill or you can use any oil based food coloring and as you can see we got that nice shiny black color And I am just making sure I try to incorporate it very well because if you don't mix it very well and you go to pour or dip your items in chocolate, you will get more of like a brown and black marble effect. You won't get that um, smooth black. So now I'm just getting about a tablespoon, about two tablespoons into each one of the cauldron halves. And I will link this mold below. And I'm just going to use a popsicle stick to work that chocolate up the sides because as you know when you're working with these chocolate molds the chocolate likes to fall down to the bottom of the mold so i just use my popsicle stick almost in like a paintbrush action and i'm going to just work it up the sides and make sure i get one full coat in the bottom of this mold and then we're going to actually put this into the freezer for about 10 minutes Okay, so now that our mold is out of the freezer, we're going to apply another coat around the sides of this mold. As you can see, if you look closely, the bottom of the mold has um, a little pool of chocolate where the chocolate actually settled. So it is thicker at the bottom of the mold. So we're just going to use our popsicle stick to go around the sides. And you can apply either one to two more coats of chocolate around the side now this can be used as a hot cocoa bomb which i've showed you guys before i will link the video that i actually used this to make a hot cocoa bomb before but this time we're making it into like a breakable pot of gold for saint patrick's day last time we used it for halloween and so with this mold we're just going to wiggle it around and then i'm going to end up using a knife just to scrape the overlapping chocolate from around the sides because sometimes that extra chocolate that overlaps is what's causing um, difficulty in you actually getting your chocolate out of the mold and like i said this was in the freezer you do want to put it in the freezer and not the fridge if you did watch my other video you'll see where it cracked on us the first time because we put it in the fridge so when we put it in the freezer it actually did come out very easy so you're just gonna have to be patient kind of wiggle it around and it eventually just pops right out like so as you can see came out very easily and i did end up breaking my mold like i said it was in the freezer so the mold actually hardened as well so when i was like you know fidgeting with it it actually cracked my mold but they came out perfectly and i could still use it it's just that it's um cracked so now like i said this is going to be a breakable pot of gold so we're putting some gold coins and some marshmallows you can put whatever you want in these and if you were making these into cocoa bombs this is where you will put your hot cocoa and your marshmallows and so now we have our hot pan off to the side that was sitting on the stove and we're just going to put that into the pan for a few seconds to let that chocolate kind of loosen up and then we're just going to put our two sides together and then it makes our pot so i'm just going to use my popsicle stick because unlike cocoa bombs where 
the two circles make a top and a bottom and the circle kind of can just sit flat because this actually you glue it together horizontally you have more of a chance of it actually cracking and breaking open because you did put those items in the bottom so that's why i put just a little extra chocolate at the bottom um just to kind of reinforce it so it doesn't split open and then at the top we're going to seal it as well because we're going to put a puddle of chocolate and this is where we're going to use to glue our marshmallows we're going to move quickly and get those marshmallows we're not going to completely cover it up with marshmallows because in the empty spots we're going to use these gold sprinkles and we're going to get those to fill in the rest of the spot so you have kind of like your gold and your marshmallows how cute did that turn out and so now i'm just i have some little rainbow like sour candies we're going to make it seem like the rainbow is like coming out of the pot and we're just going to use a little bit of our chocolate um you can use a piping bag if you're not comfortable with this step um actually gluing it if you want to just get your chocolate exactly where you want it you can use a piping bag so i'm just going to put a little bit of chocolate stick those rainbows and then anywhere that there's chocolate exposed you can stick another marshmallow or you can pour more sprinkles to cover up that black chocolate if you want And there we have it guys how cute are these for you to make for st patrick's day and they're super easy there's a little hammer that you would use to break it Sweet life, sweet life.